And Denver 7 Investigates is helping get results for one of our viewers. All new at 5, RTD has agreed to pay a woman tens of thousands of dollars after a train ran a stoplight and plowed right into her car. Denver 7 investigative reporter Jace Larson is in the newsroom. Jace, RTD at first trying to blame her. Yeah, that's right. RTD said the driver ran the red light. But then RTD refused to give her video of the accident so she could prove that she was not at fault. The video of Tia Mill's crash is incredible, and so is the fact that she's alive today after this. Do you remember the moment that the train hit you? Mm -hmm. I do. It was one of those things where you're like, I can't believe this is happening to me. The RTD driver blamed Tia, and DPD did too. I was sure I entered... The, the, the light was yellow, and I had not run a red light. RTD would not give her videos of the crash, claiming that there was an ongoing investigation. And she had trouble getting the videos from DPD, too. So Tia went all the way to trial in traffic court. Her attorney, Lorraine Parker, forced investigators to play this video, and it showed Tia had a yellow light and the train had a stop signal. Eventually, RTD admitted its mistake, and it has now agreed to settle for $60,000. It has been a long road for Tia, but one she felt she had to fight. I just want to make sure that what happened to me doesn't happen to anyone else. The money for the settlement is coming from RTD's budget, which includes taxpayer money. In Denver, Jace Larson, Denver 7.